again in Psalm 27, verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fed. Though a host shall be camp around me, my heart shall not fear, though all arise against me, and this shall I be confident. One thing, one thing have I desired of the Lord that I may seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in a time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set my foot upon a rock. God bless you, Macedonia. We are here on the Lord's day. It was uh, John the Beloved, while banished on the Isle of Patmos, that declared I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. I want to thank God for all of you. I know we have been separated. I know we have been apart, but the Lord has kept us on this journey. We are kept by the power of God. And I want you to be encouraged. I want you to remind yourself that God has promised never to leave us nor forsake us. And he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think. That's the kind of God, the great all-wise God we serve. I know it's been difficult. I know it feels awkward and some that have not been coming to church are ready to come now. And thank be to God. We see what God is doing through it all, giving us a new intimacy for worship and praise and to hear the preaching and teaching of His Word. This time we're going to have Minister Reverend Ron come and lead us to the throne of grace. After that, we will look into the Word of God. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. he's kept me. He's kept Don't me. Pray now. Thank you. 
we need you, Lord. Lord, we repent, we're sorry, Lord. But we thank you for giving us another opportunity, Lord. Another opportunity, Lord, to call on you, Lord. Because, Lord, we need you, Lord. Lord, we can't do it without you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord, this is what I'm saying, Lord. Lord, we know you want to have to heaven, Lord, to get us right with you. That's right. So, Lord, we're asking you, Lord, for forgiveness. We're asking you for mercy, Lord. Great. Lord, we need you to open doors that you will open. And close doors that you need to close. But Lord, we cannot do anything without you. But Lord, we need you to be a hedge of protection around us. Because Lord, only you can protect us from this unseen enemy. But Lord, we know that you will give us the energy. You will give us the cover. And you will be the wall of protection around us. Because Lord, you said you'll never leave us. Lord, we're saved. Lord, it's all about you, Lord. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. For the opportunity and the privilege to thank you for mercy one more time. Lord, if it had not been for you, on our side, where would we be? Lord, we ask you, Lord, to remove this mountain from our path and cast it into the sea, Lord. Lord, whatever it is, whatever it takes, whatever it costs, yeah. push us through it, Lord. Because, Lord, we know one thing. We can hold on to your one change in hand. Yes, Lord. Because, Lord, you're so good to us, Lord. You breathe life into us, Lord. And, Lord, we love you. Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to keep us, contain us, and maintain us. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Right before the word, I would like to share with Macedonian, even though I know the Domestic affairs may be going out all the week. Solicit prayers from the world. Um, on this Tuesday, we will have to say goodbye uh, on this side to a, a wonderful friend of mine, a member of our church, Harvey Green, the husband of Jennifer Green. He, he passed on last week. We're going to celebrate his home going on this coming Tuesday at 12 o'clock calling hour and 11 o'clock service asking the church members to pray for the Green family. It is so much going on. There is um, a leadership meeting coming up on the 22nd of this month. Some of our leaders will be coming together and we will uh, brainstorm uh, a protocol on how uh, to reopen sure that we have uh, protocols in place uh, to keep uh, your best interest in heart and to secure safety for anyone that will uh, be in the presence. Again, still exercising social distancing and, and certainly the wearing of the mask, but uh, we, we need fellowship.
serious about treatment or illness that he has. And I'm just asking that you would remember Gwen and James Ernest. Uh, he's going through some treatments now, and they do solicit your prayers. Please do it. There's so many others, but those are the two that uh, become most significant for me right now. Grateful, Lord, 
yet to have another opportunity to brag about how great you are. Thankful, dear Lord, for the gospel now. Save me and made a believer out of me. This morning we come to preach your power word. Lord, I pray your, your anointing would fall fresh on me. Give me the power and the accuracy to preach your word, verse upon verse, precept upon precept, line upon line. And that your word would go out, dear Lord, that it might fall on fertile ground, that it might be seed to the sower, and yet bread to the ear, that it may bring some 30, some 60, some 100 fold into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer, and all the people of God said, Amen. Amen. In the book of James, James chapter 1, and beginning at verse 1 through verse 4, will be our reading today. James chapter 1. And beginning at verse 1 for your hearing. James chapter 1 and verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greet. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, but that patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. May the Lord bless the reading of his word for the edification of our soul. For, for a subject uh, this morning, I would like for all of you who are listening in and who may be present here now to turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. there is a test in progress. Test in progress. progress. Find somebody else say, neighbor, neighbor, there is a test in progress. There is a test in progress. My brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ, our, our text this morning does not uh, suggest that we pretend to be happy when we're not. And that would be delusional. That, that would be a case of not accepting reality, something that our current administration suffers with. But it is suggesting and telling us today that God has created an inside job. Because joy is an inside job. It's not contingent what, on what is happening around us. It's not contingent on our circumstances. Regardless of what is messed up from the floor up outside of what's going on inside, there is a work called joy that's active. But we have to have the mindset to activate it. It is already at our disposal. Things have changed. Uh, uh, it's a different world than where we come from today. <laughs> and, 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 and we have to recognize that God is yet in control. I like verse 1 in the text, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are, spread, are scattered abroad, and he says, greed. This is his salutation. This is the way he opens the letter. And I see a relevant point here because we are scattered abroad. The early church was scattered abroad because of persecution, because of outside uh, forces, false teachers, 
Judaism and all types of Gnosticism and other things that would plague the Christian faith. There was persecution. We, we are persecuted now by a plague, the plague that has caused us to be separated, that has caused us to be scattered abroad. And, and now James is writing to uh, these Christians uh, that are everywhere displaced and, and not being able to have the same kind of fellowship that they have had in the past. He's writing to encourage them. He's writing to let them know that they can be encouraged. And he says, my brother, he takes it personal. Uh, i got some brethren here tonight. The church is the brethren. He's writing to the ecclesia. He's writing to the called out one. He's writing to believers. He says, my brethren, what you ought to do is count it all joy. When you fall into various trials, the word temptation in, in the text doesn't mean a, a luring of the devil. It means trials and tests that are, 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 are imminent to come in the life of believers. He says, my brethren, you ought to count it all joy. What he's saying, he says, when you go through trials, consider it joy. Now, I remember Paul said uh, over in 2 Corinthians that, that he, uh, he, he would delight in his trials. I, I haven't, I'm not that spiritual yet. I, I'm, I'm still, if I don't have to have a trial, I'm not going to miss it. Right. But if the trouble does come and the trials will come and they will because the text says not say if, my brother counted all joy when we fall, they're coming. They're here right now. And this is not a time to panic. This is not a time to pout. And this is not a time to have a pity party. But it's a time to be patient and pray and praise God anyhow. I wish I had a praying church. I wish I had somebody right here, right now, that understands that. I remember, I remember uh, uh, Minister Kevin when I was in school and it was time for a test. My teacher changed up. She wouldn't let us talk. I couldn't ask her a question. She got silent. All she provided was a pencil and the test no moving, no talking. You couldn't do anything. She would allow all the students, if they had to go to the restroom, she'd let us go before the test started. But as soon as the test started, I couldn't wave my hand and ask the question because what that teacher believed she did was gave us all the information she, that we needed to pass the test. I, 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 I know y'all don't hear me. She, she was quiet. I couldn't raise my hand and ask anything else. Though she was the teacher, so she was the one in control because that teacher believed that she gave me all the information and everything I needed to meet the test and to pass the test. Oh, that's just like God. That's just like God. Oftentimes when we're going to a trial, God seems to be silent. God yeah. seems to be so far away. Yeah. It's only because he has given us everything we need in his yeah. word yeah. to be yeah. ready to take the test. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but, but there's a test in progress right now. Oh, yeah. And then when God gives a test, yeah. He wants us to see where we are. Yes, sir. He yes, sir. already knows where we are. Yes, but he wants us to see how we handle a little bit of pressure. You know, pressure bus pipes. And we, we, you, you, you can really find out who you are under pressure. Under a little bit of pressure and what is in you will come out. I, I say what you will about what you believe, but apply a little pressure, apply a little trouble, and what's in you will come out. Uh, James says, count it all joy, consider it. It's a, it's a, 
and tribulation joy. Why? Why do we equate it joy when we go through various trials? Knowing this, that the testing of our faith will work patience. Yes, sir. That's right. Another word for patience is perseverance. Come on. Yes. You know what patience is? Patience is making forward progress with the wind in your face. Yes. Moving forward despite. Some people think patience is just sitting down and doing nothing. No, patience is continuing to move forward despite the uncomfortable circumstances. I wish I had a praying church. Yeah. I, I know, yeah, I know some of the conveniences of life are not no longer at our disposal. You can't, a lot of people that go on vacations now, you can't go to the ocean, you can't go to the beach because there's a hidden virus that's plaguing the nation, that's plaguing the world, and it's taking you out of your comfort zone, the things that you enjoy doing, the things that you worked hard to do, to have an opportunity to do. It's not to negate that you haven't worked for some of these things that, and worked hard to have a, a, a better quality of life. But, but, but the fact of the matter is that God is still in control yes, and, and, and yeah. he needs us to take this test. Let pay. 
nations have heard perfect work. I wonder, Minister Rod, why the Lord called, gave patience a female gender. Yeah, wow. That patience have her perfect work. You know why? Because anytime you see patience exercise, it's beautiful. Beauty, yes. Yeah. And you don't equate beauty yeah. with a man, you don't equate yeah. beauty with a female, a woman. Yeah. Anytime somebody exercise patience, it's beauty at work. Yeah. They, they, they are, they are, they, they're coping, they're poised. It's a virtue. Now, last time I looked, one of the fruit of the Spirit is joy. Okay. Yeah. And I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I'm going to go with the record of the Scriptures in the midst of the COVID-19, in the midst of racial uh, injustice, in the midst of all the yeah. trouble that's going on, yeah. the crime that's still consistent, the raping, the robbing, the killing, the homicide are still here. Drug overdose, uh, 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 prescription uh, overdosing, it's all still here. I'm going to trust God's word. Yes. God of all joy. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but a test is in progress. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm in the testing room. Yes, sir. It seems like my teacher, who is named God Jehovah, Hallelujah. and his son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit has prepared me for an hour like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The text is not being stoic and insensitive and somehow wants us to be spiritual gurus and act like we're happy when we're sad. No. There's an inside job working called joy. Yeah. Sir. And the uh, joy is the, uh, the, the, the strength of the joy. Is the, love is the strength. Uh, uh, strength, joy is the strength of the Lord. We work through it. We, we embrace it. That's where my strength comes from. That's where the power comes. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I'm grateful and thankful that I can cash in on joy. But let me close here. I'm in the testing room. Uh, yes. Yeah, and, and I'm being tested because there, there's trouble all around. Things are not the same anymore. Right? Uh -huh. We can't stick and move like we used to. It seems like we have to be careful. We're, we're wearing masks and we have to stay away and we have to stay home. But uh, 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 cheer up, my brother. Cheer up, my sister. You're just a test in progress. You're, you're a test in progress and God wants to show you what you've been, uh, been learning for the last 15, 20, 30 years, whoever we are, he wants to see if we have uh, somehow, somehow uh, comprehended and retained the things we need to make it through. Yes. So I'm testing now. Yes. I'm not concerned about the left yes. of me or the right of me. I know that i got to individually go through this thing on my own. Yes. I can't use your faith. I can't use your joy. I got the youth to joy that I've deposited in me to move right. forward. I got to use it. I got to work with it. I knew a day would come. I knew a day would come when yeah. the whole fellowship that we've been dealing with would, would, would turn into a big test. Yes, and now the test is up and there's a test in progress. And, and you're going to eat, you're going to take the test. You're going to either pass it or flunk it. But you're going to take the test. The test is here. Yes, and I, I believe, I believe right now you can consider this that God is so good uh -huh. that He says, listen, just hang in there. I'm gonna give you a good clue to passing the test. Yeah. Count it all joy. Yeah. I know it looks like sadness. Yeah. I know it looks like pain. I know it looks like heartache. I know it looks like trouble. I know it looks like trial. I know it looks like tribulations. I know it looks like hardship. I know it looks like difficulty. But count it all joy. I better learn how to count. If I don't do anything, I'm going to count it joy when I go through various trials. Because I got a blessing coming. Because the trying of my faith will give birth to patience. Now let patience have her because it's beautiful. Perfect work. The Bible says, have perfect work, that he may 
Yep. You had enough to eat. Yes. yes. You had enough of uh, 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 me time now. You used to always want some me time. You got all you want now. Yeah. Without the saving power of Jesus. 